The Tribal Health and Human Services Department of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes is proud to present Good Medicine, a program dedicated to the wellness of the Flathead Nation. The mission is summarized quite simply, a healthier people, a stronger nation. We will strive to make Good Medicine a reliable source of ideas and information about health issues so that everyone can make informed decisions about their own lifestyle and health care. You will meet health professionals, tribal government and spiritual leaders, and interesting people from the tribal community discussing important health issues that profoundly affect us all. I'm your host, Larry Pitts, 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 whatever it is. Today I have with me two great guests. I got Mary Kuhn, who is the president of the Lake County Unit of the American Cancer Society. I've got Penny Durecki, who is a past president of the unit. Now she is the number one volunteer as she's got 30 years of experience behind her. Ladies, you asked me not to do this, but is there anybody out there in TV land you want to say hello to? <laughs> Penny? Hi, Mom. <laughs> How about you, Mary? Oh, hi, John. <laughs> See, that's really safe and pretty easy. Ladies, uh, we're here talking about the uh, Relay for Life for Lake County. Um, in the past, it's been in Missoula, and the surrounding communities is never I've never known it to truly be in Lake County and um, we're up and coming on that um, do you guys want to talk about what relay for life a little bit it was directed to you Penny and uh, tell us how and when it begins or how well it begin? this is a tenth year for the relay for life mm -hmm. and it began in Olympia Washington when an oncologist Gordon Klett had the idea of being on a track and getting pledges from his friends and he was going to stay on the track for as long as he could and from that individual making that um, effort. Uh, the Relay for Life is now the signature event for the American Cancer Society. From Olympia, it went across the state of Washington and then it became a national event. And five years ago, we had the first Relay for Life in Missoula. So this past one was Missoula's fifth. Uh, Kalispell has had it for four years, and this is the very first year that we've had it in Lake County, and we're really excited about it. So we're off and running, right? We <laughs> <laughs> or walking. Or walking. walking. <laughs> All right. That sounds great. Anything else you want to say about that? Well, um, uh, it's just a stellar event, and it, uh, it succeeded the way it has because it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it raises money, but people enjoy themselves while they're doing it, and attention is paid to cancer survivors, and attention is paid to those who have passed away from cancer. It's just a, an all-inclusive yet fun event. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a, a terrific way to raise a fundraiser. All right. Well, Mary, let me ask you, we we'll ask you this many times so that people know when. When is this going to be? Well, the event is going to be August 23rd and August 24th in Polson mm -hmm. at uh, the Polson High School track at Linderman School. Mm -hmm. It's going to start at 4 p.m. in the afternoon on Saturday and it will go to 8 a.m. Sunday morning. So do they have the field lighted at night or? The field is that the track is going to be lighted um, except for when the lights will be turned out for our luminaria ceremony uh, and that the uh, there will be many events going on during that time and uh, people can uh, camp out. We have locations for RVs and tents and people to just stay and enjoy uh, the whole time. Do you have medical personnel on hand just in case someone <laughs> is out there trying to walk? Yes, we'll have the um, ambulance will be there the whole time. Uh, although we're, this is an event, we won't need that. Okay. Your husband will be there hopefully? Yes, he'll be out there walking with everyone else. So we have an MD there also. That's great. How does a relay really work? Well, the relay, it's not a com competitive event where people run and compete by the number of laps or speed or anything that. It is, it's a team um, effort to um, a commitment to keep someone on the track um, at all times for 16 hours, one member of the team or many members of the team. The whole team could be out there. And uh, they walk and they have received pledges. Um, they raise their pledges ahead of time as a commitment um, for the event. 
and uh, they uh, you can walk, you can run. Um, wheelchair, whatever. You can go around the track one time in an hour or 20 times in an hour, however you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is um, a group of people who uh, form a team and uh, that team can be from a business, a uh, organization, a group of neighbors, uh, a family reunion group, uh, any type of organization or group of people who want to get together and make a commitment to raise funds mm -hmm. for the Relay for Life. Any uh, limitations on numbers on a team? A team has t um, typically is 10 to 15 people okay. and that makes it easier to break up the time. The, our event is 16 hours mm -hmm. and uh, with if you have 10 people well that's about an hour and a half they each would walk um, or run or whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. How about motorized carts? No. <laughs> no, no, uh, no skateboards or no roller blades. No roller blades. <laughs> Just to make sure that uh, it, for anyone who's walking who um, uh, for an older elderly person mm -hmm. or someone with a handicap we don't want the uh, roller blades or the um, or bicycles. So Right. To make it yeah. safe so and fun for everyone. Physical manpower without yeah. machinery. Right. Um, Penny, how do when do you have a deadline for team registration? When is that? And how about team members signing up? Is there a process in that? Is him bold? Well, um, there is a way to sign up. Uh, each team has a sponsor, mm -hmm. and the sponsorship is one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Um, and then each person who is on the team. That that hundred fifty dollars covers a T-shirt mm -hmm. uh, for the for the with a logo for the current year, and all the food and um, for uh, the entertainment f for the members of the team. Okay. Okay. And then to be uh, designated as a team member, each team each person is asked to raise a minimum of a hundred dollars. Okay. And uh, there that's the minimum. Uh, there will be prizes given for those that raise the most. Mm -hmm. um, and what was the other part of your question We're talking about, uh, about registration mm -hmm. and deadlines? There's no deadline. We, we'll uh, we'll accept teams right up to the right up to the starting mm -hmm. uh, time on four o'clock on Saturday the 23rd. Okay. Teams show up even late and said, "Hey, we want to get oh, into this. Yes. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. We won't turn anyone down. No. <laughs> let's go to the pledges a little bit. You know, I've seen other organizations that have relays and this kind of stuff, and people go out or bolathons and, mm -hmm. and they pledge per whatever. Is that the kind of pledging you're looking for? No, it's not per lap or anything like that. It's just um, a straight uh, minimum of a hundred dollars, and um, most of us have ten friends that we can ask mm -hmm. to give us ten dollars for our very worthy cause, mm -hmm. and uh, they're happy to do it. Mm -hmm. I I say that I have no problem asking for money for the American Cancer Society because every time I have a Pap smear or a mammogram, or my husband has a, a PSA, a, a blood test for prostate cancer, I I receive much more back already mm -hmm. than what I ever give because the American Cancer Society has been the the source of research funding for all of these projects mm -hmm. and more. So you don't have to be a cancer patient to think that you're getting something from the American Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. Anything on that This is yeah. um, a great um, event for people to feel good and have fun at the same time. And it's an event for people, uh, you know, in all. Um, age levels mm -hmm. and groups of people because um, they can bring their children and um, they can feel good for a ten dollar donation to their friend is a commitment um, where sometimes uh, some of the fundraising events there are there's a, a large fee for dinners or different things like mm -hmm. that where this people can feel really good that they mm -hmm. are supporting it and at the same time having a good time. Okay, so is it okay to call your friends and tell, threaten them that you'll call them at midnight and two, <laughs> four o'clock? Do the ten dollars? Well, whatever works. <laughs> whatever works. <laughs> I just wanted to to add to that uh, that we have taken teams down to Missoula to mm -hmm. be a part of the Missoula Relay, and there is such a spirit of camaraderie that develops on the track among the the walkers. It's uh, it's really a wonderful event. It's hard to explain the spirit mm -hmm. that. Develops. Well, how many people can you have on the track at one time, Penny? 
Oh, um, any number. Yeah. As Mary said, each team commits to having at least one representative mm -hmm. from their team on the track, but um, any number. And if, if they don't have somebody on the track for oh, well. 10 minutes, they just call <laughs> well, them Well, there's no, no black marks. There's, just <laughs> there's no relay policemen out there checking no. <laughs> to see that someone is there. It, it works on the honor system, but people enjoy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So in other words, if someone's out there who wants, says, I want to sign up for this, but I'm a little worried because I can't be on the track for 16 hours myself. Oh, no, no, they're, they're, no, no, they're no. not, uh, no, they're not expected, no one is expected no. to do that. Mm -hmm. no. But there's a lot of misconceptions in well, these type of things, be. you yeah. know, and it might keep somebody yeah. from being there, and we don't want that to happen. People are encouraged to come and camp out and be there because, as Mary said, there's going to be entertainment and ongoing events and certainly the luminaria ceremony is very mm -hmm. special but if they can what time only that, what time is that going to be uh it starts at dusk okay uh, so about 10 o'clock about 10 o'clock uh the luminaria ceremony and the luminaria uh for those who might not know what a luminaria is mm -hmm. it is a paper bag with sand in the bottom and a, a small candle and uh, the luminaria, um, which are sold for $5 for each uh, luminaria, are in honor of uh, those people who are battling cancer or who may have lost the battle. And uh, we will be having a, a time, approximately 10 o'clock, where each of the bags are put around the track and lit. And then there'll be a special ceremony with music, and each of the person's names will be read. Mm -hmm. And it's a very touching and um, emotional ceremony um, for the people, um, for the walkers, as well as the people who have bought the luminaria. Mm -hmm. And then the luminaria will burn for several hours. Um, it, probably two to three hours and uh, and the walkers then can continue walking by the candlelight mm -hmm. um, after the ceremony. It's a very um, special part of the whole event mm -hmm. and a part of the event that um, people who are not even on teams, uh, people from from town, from the community, from the whole county can uh, purchase luminaria. They'll be seeing signs around town. Um, there's brochures um, where they can uh, get a form and just send their money in and uh, or they can come out to the event and buy the luminaria right then. Okay, someone's out there watching right now says, I'm interested. Who do they call? Well, they can call. Um, they can call myself um, mm -hmm. at 883-8139, okay. or there will be um, in the banks and local banks um, at both of the hospitals: St. Luke Hospital, St. Joseph Hospital. Uh, the grocery stores throughout the county, everywhere from Arlie, Charlotte, uh, Ronan, uh, Polson, and many of the beauty and bar um, barber shops will have forms. Mm -hmm. And also, a form is going to be included in the in the power bill? Oh yes, and mm -hmm. in the in your power bill throughout this month. All right. uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> 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 ignore. ignore the bill, but don't ignore the form. <laughs> you will see a, a purple form, mm -hmm. um, and uh, that can be sent in um, to our post office box. There is a post office box. Um, it is uh, Lake County ACS at P post office box 6767 in Polson. Okay. Want to say the, the phone number and that address one more time? Uh, it is Post Office Box 6767 in uh, Polson, uh, and the phone number is 883-8139. All right. And we're going to hit those numbers again, I'm sure, at the end of the show. So if you missed those numbers, you know, do stay tuned for that. What if I'm out there and um, I want to sign up, but I don't have a team? Oh, oh. That's, that's easy. That's uh, we have uh, teams that uh, have slots, and what, what they should do is, is just call that number, 883-8139, and say, I'm available. Uh, is there a team in, in my community that I can join? Okay. And we will match you with a team. Okay. Now, let's talk about the Victory Lab. What is the victory lap? It's, I, I, I have these you know, questions <laughs> down here, and I get to that and go, victory lap, yet this isn't a competition. So what is the victory lap? Well, our victory lap, which is our uh, first lap, it's the opening lap and, and ceremony to kick off the event. And it's a, um, the lap that we honor um, 
cancer, uh, people living with cancer today. Mm -hmm. And um, we are requesting those people um, who would like to be um, at the event and who uh, we want to honor and encourage and show that we, uh, with this event and the people who are participating, are working to raise funds uh, for research and um, and continued um, education and prevention that uh, those people will be um, introduced and will walk the first lap. And we have a special t-shirt for those um, cancer survivors and um, we can, um, they can contact um, the same number or they can contact Betty at 849-5350. Okay. And uh, she's our uh, cancer survivor uh, chairman, and she will be um, glad to talk to people and explain how they can be um, included in the event. Okay. That's and this, awesome. this costs nothing for them to, right. to be there. Right. Just, just let us know who you are, and we'll get you the T-shirt. And <laughs> Their cost was surviving. That, well, yeah. you know, a, they paid a dear price paid, for that. They paid a heavy yeah. difference, yes. you know. Right. So now what about the parade of teams? That's, I hear, the second lap. So what's That's up, the what's second this lap. About? Well, this is something um, uh, fairly new, an idea that um, we formed out of Lake County and um, kind of taking off of the um, parade of nations from the Olympics and that the teams will um, um, come out as a group. They'll have a banner and a Relay for Life uh, flag and um, they will, the teams are encouraged to um, pick a theme and um, have a costume or and decorate uh, their campsite. And that theme can be something related to um, either their business or organization or cancer related. Mm -hmm. um, we have teams like the Rocky Point Rockettes, uh, Willie's Walking Wonders, uh, I think the Tooth Fairies. Our theme is, our theme is a dream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, there have been, you know, there can be, there's been teams of don't gamble on, on cancer and they have been dice and mm -hmm. uh, different uh, costumes and just to make the whole event fun. And then the teams will be introduced as a group. They'll come out um, and uh, walk, start walking around the track as a group. And as each team uh, is introduced, there'll be kind of blocks of groups coming out like blocks of the, uh, at the Olympics of the, uh, from each country. And uh, this will be uh, something to uh, recognize the different groups mm -hmm. as a whole and be able to parade around their theme and, and just the, to add to the fun and uh, enjoyment uh, and the start off of the event. To so make it a, a sort of a festivity. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, that's what it is. Right. And uh, that's, it sounds really, it sounds yeah. fun, it sounds very interesting. I think people should, you know, get involved. What, how are the funds raised for this? I mean, you talked about the sponsorship, you talked about people, you know, going out and getting um, their, the fundraiser part of it. Is there any other way people can bring money in to this event? Um, are you going to have stands selling food or? Well, we will be um, having uh, stands selling uh, t-shirts and some other uh, um, signature event things like um, oh, drink can covers and uh, and caps and sweatshirts and um, and of course they can buy the luminaria. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be um, some other besides the food that's provided for all of the uh, people who are members of the team because we will have dinner right. and snacks and breakfast and there are so many businesses and restaurants and have been donating the food. Um, we've had wonder wonderful support mm -hmm. throughout the county. Um, we will also have several uh, food concessions for people who can also that they can also buy food All right. and uh, we were, we're going to have uh, uh, right now we have at least one band um, a guitarist I think we're going to have karaoke mm -hmm. um, we're going to have a tennis tournament going on at the same time um, from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, for five dollars they put their hat name in the hat and will be matched up with uh, an unknown uh, partner that's called and, a blind draw right mm -hmm. and we'll ha and we'll um, and uh, we'll play um, kind of elimination of mm -hmm. teams and um, we have even we actually have a, also a poker event. They uh, 
pay, um, um, I think it's five dollars also, and then each time they go around the track, they get a card. <laughs> and uh, the one person, or the person with the best hand mm -hmm. at the end receives a prize. All right. And uh, there's also going to be a scavenger hunt mm -hmm. uh, played during the event, and there'll be a prize for that. And um, uh, also trivia. Mm -hmm. We'll also play trivia. Uh, along the way and, and we have many we're lining up some fun prizes for the people mm -hmm. who play these games well, some, some real ingenious ways yeah. of raising money and right. keep people happy at the same time right. um, let's talk about the cancer society a little bit uh, Penny what is the organization well the American Cancer Society has a mission to eliminate cancer as a major disease mm -hmm. and they do that in three ways and the American Cancer Society is the only um, cancer health organization that does it in three ways. Primarily through research, through uh, preventative education, and to, through aid to cancer patients and their families. Mm -hmm. uh, the American Cancer Society's research, research history is a, is a rich one. It, um, they have 28 individuals who have received the uh, uh, Pulitzer Prize for their significant research and among them is the doctor who developed the pap smear process. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, one of the things that keeps me as a, as a volunteer for the American Cancer Society is its prevention program because if we applied all the information that we have about cancer, <laughs> we could eliminate two-thirds of the deaths from cancer. And that, food wouldn't taste nearly as good. <laughs> no, well, no. A, third of, a third of the deaths could be uh, eliminated if only people didn't use tobacco products. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the third way that the uh, American Cancer Society serves is through aid to cancer patients. And this is in a variety of ways. We have um, a Reach to Recovery program for women who have had recent mastectomies. We have um, a supply of wigs for people who are going through chemotherapy. We have beauticians trained right here in Lake County to help them style their hair and with their cosmetics. Um, we take information to the schools. There are units that are introduced at every single grade level um, on various uh, uh, health unit uh, mm -hmm. subjects. Okay. Uh, it, it isn't just don't smoke, but it, it talks to, to the kids smoke. about um, wise nutrition choices and mm -hmm. about skin cancer, the effect of the sun, a wide variety of things that, that uh, dovetail with their biology or with their health units. Mm -hmm. Who does that educating? Oh, the, the teachers do. Mm -hmm. um, I've taken uh, the units to all the schools in Polson and others have taken it to other schools throughout the county. Mm -hmm. um, the work of the American Cancer Society is really limited only by the number of volunteers. Right. The more volunteers we have, the more inclusive the service is to the county. Mm -hmm. So there is a definite payback, but it is in ratio to the number of volunteers. Mm -hmm. Well, what you're just saying there, you know, about the education in the schools that you're allowing the teachers, you furnish the material to the teachers. Mm -hmm. I see that as a really productive way because mm -hmm. the teacher already has credibility with their class. Mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you bring in an outsider and they may be a great speaker, but a lot of times you lose a certain percentage. Yeah. And well, and these units have been carefully um, crafted, uh, very professionally done, and, and they've been very well received by the schools. Mm -hmm. So now the money that we raise here in Lake County, how is it used in Lake County? The money uh, in, in Lake County is used um, for both for patient um, grants, um, there are transportation mm -hmm. grants, um, and, um, and, for med and medication. Um, there's $30,000 that was designated for Montana alone for, um, for grants for patients for transportation who need um, or who are going for chemotherapy. And um, the um, money in Lake County comes back many fold in, in the education and information that is available and the training that um, is there to uh, for the teachers and uh, for a recent program started the fresh start for the smoking sensation um, and 
Also, ACS has uh, workshops for the for the medical community too, for the medical professionals to keep them apprised of the great latest breakthroughs in um, research. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, it comes through on a very uh, variety of levels. Mm -hmm. Anyone who who is recently diagnosed with cancer, they immediately want to know all they can possibly know about their particular cancer. Who do they get in touch with? They call the 800 number which is 1-800-ACS-3421. Okay. And that, where, is, where does that tap them into, Helena? Uh, or? That actually taps them into Denver. Into Denver. Mm -hmm. Denver. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so they have the answers and some questions that they may have. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The money that's raised, how much do you think we can raise in a fundraiser like this? What is your, what is your the minimum amount you'd like to see us raise, and what is the maximum you'd like to see? Well, ideally, every team, it has, if it had a minimum of 10 members, uh, and each member raised $100, then each team mm -hmm. um, would bring in $1,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how many teams are you hoping for? Well, <laughs> right now we have uh, 17 or 18 who are actually signed up, paid their money. Teams or teams? Teams. teams. Wow. And we have more people um, every day mm -hmm. um, coming in and with interest. I, I would say today I say we'll have 20 teams almost for sure, mm -hmm. which would be 200 to 250 people okay. um, with uh, out there. And they could all be on the track at once mm -hmm. uh, if they wanted oh, uh, yeah, easy. Yeah. easily. But uh, we started with a goal of 12 teams, and we exceeded that rapidly. The, the community has just really embraced this event. Um, everywhere I go, uh, people are excited about it and, uh, and just wanting to um, be supportive and become involved. Mm -hmm. And another way that we have raised some funds is through corporate sponsorships. Okay. We have approached the uh, business community and they have been very generous mm -hmm. in responding to the Need. Well, you know, the thing that's scary, I guess, about cancer is we, there is not a person in America who hasn't been touched that's by right. cancer in one way or the other. And so uh, when you're out talking about raising money towards a, a, a program like this, it's something that's personal to everybody. That's right. Yes. So we've got about a minute and a half. Is there anything you want to wrap, wrap this up for me right now, Penny? Well, I have confidence in the American Cancer Society because I, they are very uh, good stewards with the money that they receive. Mm -hmm. They are the largest uh, recipient of individual donations. Mm -hmm. They receive no, no government funding at all. Everything they do comes from private donations. Okay. And the work that they do with that money makes a difference to people like me mm -hmm. and you and yeah. everyone right here. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that the American Cancer Society is the largest volunteer organization in this nation mm -hmm. tells me that there are people like Mary uh, right in everyone's community that can answer questions about this organization. Mm -hmm. Mary, how about you? Well, the um, I haven't been involved that long with the organization, but it has just become um, such a, uh, a big part of my life. and. Uh, uh, of the volunteers that I have met and have um, are working with, and the people who uh, really um, have a goal to um, advance the organization mm -hmm. and raise funds mm -hmm. and make the awareness, uh, so that hopefully my family, no one in my family, will have to suffer what many people have have had to go through. Okay. All right. Well, ladies, I want to thank you for your time for coming aboard today. I hope this is going to help the process, yeah. the Relay for Life. And, uh, you know, I have no more questions, but, I, you know, I want to thank you very much. And uh, anytime you'd like to come back, come back out there in TV land. If you want to support this, get hold of the numbers on the screen, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much, and good day. Good Medicine is your program. We hope you watch this and subsequent programs to stay informed about your health care. And we'd like to hear from you about how we're doing. Please direct any comments or suggestions you have to us. You can reach us at...